I'm here at um, the New York Times uh, building or floor uh, in New York with Nicholas Kristof. And I have to say, first of all, how much uh, of inspiration you've been through your book, Half the Sky, which has served as a, as something, a reference point for, for me in, a, in my uh, political career. You hold and, up way uh, more than so Half the Sky <laughs> yourself. <so. laughs> no, and thank you. And maybe I can ask you, um, do you have a, a notion of uh, what we call a feminist foreign policy and what do you think it should entail? Well, I, uh, I mean, I admire Sweden's efforts to pioneer uh, uh, feminist foreign policy, and I'm all in favor of a feminist foreign policy and a feminist domestic policy, partly because I do think that inertia tends to keep policies going the way they always have been, and that we often tend to be blind to issues like gender um, uh, and others that that don't, I mean, typically in foreign policy, we talk about missiles, we talk about right. security issues, we don't think enough about sexual violence, uh, about humanitarian issues that disproportionately affect women. And so I think this can be one way of moving that lens and that focus to incorporate these other issues that are just life and death for so many people around the world. So brava. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Thank you, Nicholas. <laughs> Thank you.